Get in. Are you serious? Yeah. Get in the truck! The character, mm -hmm. he's sort of the everyman, would you say? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, he's, you, a lot of people will be able to see that, you know, you want to be careful for what you wish for. I mean, he's a guy who's looking for a little action. He's, he's, he's a CIA agent, but he's a housekeeper, basically. He's stuck in this, what's called a safe house, which is just a, you know, a CIA, you know, owned and operated apartment, basically, that, uh, um, they use for interrogations and those kinds of things, but it's a boring job and he's looking for more action and in, in walks, you know, this notorious sociopath who's a former CIA agent played by Denzel Washington and it just changes his life. While watching the film, it becomes obvious this mm. isn't in a studio. Shooting chase scenes in dense streets like that, what, what challenges do you face as an actor? Um, looser laws, that's for sure, because I, I don't know if you'd be allowed to do that stuff and, uh, in the United States, um, um, you know that stuff is pretty terrifying. I mean, a lot of the driving sequences, uh, either I'm doing them or there's a pilot driver on the top of the roof of the car, uh, which is a bizarre sensation because you know when I hit the brake, he hits the gas, and that's a that's a weird feeling. Um, it's very disconcerting. But uh, um, no, it was a, it was a, it was interesting to see movies being shot that way. I felt like we were shooting a. Um, it was a bit of a throwback because it wasn't CGI reliant in this movie. It was uh, all kind of practical stuff. Mm, indeed. Also, too, there's a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat, very mm -hmm. gritty. What was the preparation for that like? Because your character isn't supposed to know all mm -hmm. these great moves and everything, right? No, he's yeah. not a superhero. He's a guy, normal, kind of a normal guy. Um, so most of the hand-to-hand -hand fight sequences, usually those are handled by stunt guys, but the movie's shot up close, so you don't really get that luxury. You have to do it yourself. So it's just a ton of choreography. We had these uh, French... Uh, uh, fight coordinators um, uh, who brought such beautiful, beautiful choreography to the movie, and uh, and you learn that stuff because those fights have to be very messy and sloppy and kind of ugly and mean, um, and that's why it's harder to learn than those those fights in movies that are polished and kind of precise. So it has to look really messy. I mean, these guys when they're when two grown men are trying to kill each other, terrible things happen. I mean, you're biting each other, you're kicking each other, you're headbutting, you're doing anything you can to get out of the situation. So. Um, that's kind of the way that, that we approach these fights. And what about Denzel Washington, uh, working with such a veteran actor? Did you did you learn anything? What was the takeaway yeah. from working with him? Uh, you learn so much working with a guy like him. I mean, not only is he a pleasure to work with and just to see that, that somebody can be that passionate about what they do and they've been doing it for this long, but uh, um, you just see how, how, uh, how discipline really kind of wins the day, you know, and that's that's what he brings. I mean, he brings like a kind of discipline I don't think I've ever seen before, and that's just in his DNA. Safe House opens in North American theaters on February 10th. Ken Lombardi, CBSNews.com, New York. Excellent Thanks, Ken. Work. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.